Habakkuk. Habakkuk is one of the greatest musicians in Jamaica, an innovator and former leader of the greatest band of musicians in the history of Jamaican music, the Scatterlites. Where did you first learn to play, Tommy? At Alpha Boys School, 40. Went to school 39, started learning about 40. I left around. 43. What kind of music do you learn to play there? Um, mostly march music, classics, and symphonic style of music. Well, you learn all the rudiments of the instrument. Mm -hmm. And while I was in school, I, I had an offer to play with a dance band, starting at Bournemouth with Eric Deans, you know. What kind of music was that? Swing, period. Well, the rasters at that time had to hide to play because of police would come to, you know, mash them up. At times they chopped up the drums and beat up some of the players. So the rasters had to go further back in the hills so it would be harder for the police to get at them. Well, I left around 54 to go to Nassau in the Bahamas to join a Jamaican band there. We played dance music. What big, kind of music? Big band, swing music, same swing, you know. Well, I spent about eight years there. And I came back in 62. And when I came back, Dan Jomans was the man on the scene. He had this hit tune, School in the Duke, out at the time. And then, well, I listened to the music, but I was playing jazz at the time, you know. We had this little jazz club. And while I was there, Coxon came to me. While I was there, Coxon came to me and asked me, Coxon came to me and asked me to do some recording, the scare recording. Well, I didn't move right away. This was 62. But he approached me again in 63, and I decided I would try, you know. So I got involved with the scale. Scatterlight. Yes, well, well, while we were recording with the Scatterlight in 63, um, there weren't together as a band. They were just a recording outfit. And then people kept asking who played these the various tunes, you know. Then Coxon asked me to, um, to feature a tune for him, um, Exodus. That was my first hit during the scare time with Coxon. Well, after that I did other tunes, you know like uh, Roadblock, which was my composition, which I composed, Freedom Sound. Did you play us one of your compositions of this guy?
like you said, the dancers got tired of the scare. It was too fast, and they figured they wanted a slow beat. Who was the person who instigated the changing the beat? Well, it was really Duke Reed that I heard while at Treasure Isle. That said, this was around 65, 66. I said he wanted to slow down the music a bit because his fans were saying that they got tired too easy. You now they were going old. They were getting older. So we decided to slow down the, the scar a bit. So we got a beat called the Rock Steady. You must have heard of it. It was like this. <laughs> Rock steady style, good as cat alive, cat alive. 